welcome friends and my dear students until now we have learned about some of the basic discrete probability distribution and one which was a continuous probability distribution that was normal distribution in some of the conditions when we are uh, have to apply binomial distribution but the tables which we do not permit us to apply the binomial distribution because most of the tables have the maximum trial capacity of n equal to 20 or 30 but in some situation where the uh, Bernoulli's process exists Bernoulli's trial exists and we had to apply binomial distribution but limit goes beyond that we could apply poison approximation to binomial distribution but in some other situation where mu and sigma square is not same then we cannot apply poison distribution we can go for the normal approximation and what is normal approximation it is an assumption that the distribution is having same pattern as of the normal distribution in this case only the difference is in like the discrete probability distribution we have bars to represent the different probabilities of different values of random variable but in this case we assume that bar so that it can fill the area which was supposed to be the area under the curve of normal curve or Gaussian distribution let's see how it goes so now in this case what we see is the probability for cumulative probability for a random variable x less than a particular value will be the summation from 0 to x for the value of x or what we call is k in some cases so it will be from 0 to x n comma p n is the total number of trials total trials and p is the probability of a of success in each trial each trial so now in some situation n is very large n is tending to infinity so in those situations it is difficult to to apply the binomial distribution so we go for normal approximation in normal approximation we calculate the value of z assuming that the mean of the distribution is n into p and the variance of the distribution is n p and 1 minus p now suppose uh, we had a distribution that is binomial distribution where 0 1 2 3 and so on up, up to n or infinity so sorry up to n we can have now this will be the distribution having bars representing the probability of occurrence now when we assume it to be normally distributed we assume there are bars representing the distribution which may be rectangular in nature so instead of the height of the bar the area of the bars will be representing the probability for each random variable now if we are assuming this so in this case the probability for suppose x equal to 2 is nothing but the function value from x equal to 1.5 to x equal to 2.5 so this area under the curve of a particular normal distribution will represent the probability which was in case of discrete probability distribution just the height of this bar which was nothing but a height when we were ideally having the discrete probability distribution or binomial distribution so b for x equal to 2 is nothing but n comma p that we calculate as ncx p to the power x 
1 minus p to the power n minus x. So if x is 2, n is some value, but here we assume it to be this. When we assume it this, this height is converted into a area, a small thin strip of area starting from a point of 3.5 to 4.5 for the probability of x equal to 4 only. So that is what the basic concept of the ap normal approximation to binomial distribution. That is why that is why in this equation this cumulative probability is made equivalent to the probability over here. Here it is nothing but the summation of these bar up to x equal to x. So this is summation of these bar which is over this formula. But when we approximate this into a normal distribution, it will be area under the curve till the value of x is equal to x. So this is this area under the curve. But in this distribution, we require the value of x, value of n, value of p. But in this distribution, we require the value of mu and sigma square. So mu will be approximated to np, sigma is, is approximated to np1 minus. So that is what the approximation is. So we have this value of fx will be nothing but this one. This 0.5 is added because if we are here, so the probability will be up to this particular point which is over here. So this summation will be the approximation that is why this will be x plus 0.5 minus np is nothing but mu and this is nothing but sigma. That is what we call normal approximation to binomial distribution. Keeping this in view, we will solve a problem that will give us more idea how to apply this approximation for the problems of binomial distribution. Look at this problem. The probability that a patient recover from a rare blood disease is 0.4. So the probability of so the probability of each patient to recover is 0.4. When if 100 people are known to have contracted with disease. So total number of trials is 100. What is the probability that less than 30 will survive? So this is a definite case of Bernoulli's process. So we have to apply binomial distribution. But because n is so large, n is a high value that is why we will apply normal approximation to binomial distribution now see here what we are looking for is this value ideally if we go for binomial distribution this is nothing but equal to summation x equal to 0 to 29 29 is because less than 30 b x colon n comma p that we can take up from table of binomial distribution but n is so large so it is difficult now when we apply normal approximation this will become the integration from 0 to 29.5 why I write 29.5 because if I see at n equal to 30 or sorry not n x equal to 30 or x equal to 29 so if we are looking for less than 30 so less than 30 will start from this point so approximation will be up to this point over we have to sum of all the values or the area under the curve below this particular point. So this will be the area under the curve if we apply the normal approximation. That is why I wrote 29.5. So if we do this, this will be fx dx. If we approximate 
to normal approximation it will be the probability of z less than x minus mu upon sigma so x minus mu upon sigma that is how we get the value of probability x less than 30 if approximated to normal distribution will be 0 to 29.5 fx dx that will be probability of z less than here because we have already transformed into normal distribution so less than and equal to has no meaning it will be on the same point over here so this will be x is 29.5 minus because this is equal to probability of x less than or equal to 29 that will be the same case so this minus mu mu is np upon sigma is square root of np 1 minus p so that will be equal to probability of z less than 29.5 minus n is 100 into 0.4 upon square root of 100 0.4 and 0.6 that will give us a value of p z less than or equal to minus 2.1 so now we will go to the tables of normal distribution or z distribution if you go there for z minus 2.14 so minus 2.1 is over here and 4 is so value is 0 0.0162 so this is the probability from tables this probability is 0 0.0162 so this is the probability of getting z less than minus 2.14 which is approximated to the probability of getting x less than 30 so that is what we uh, see over here how to apply normal approximation approximation to binomial distribution so this was an example where we simply applied normal distribution technique to find out the cumulative probability to a particular value of random variable but here we have approximated the binomial distribution towards the normal distribution so it was a normal approximation to binomial distribution now in the coming lectures we will learn about the sampling distribution and uh, their applications till then goodbye thank you